In a city already known for its diverse construction and design, one new revolutionary project is capturing not only the nation's attention, but the attention of the entire architecture world. Stronger than steel and lighter than concrete, you'd never expect these words to be used to describe wood. But in Finland, that's exactly what's happening at this very moment. The city of Helsinki is constructing their very own region made entirely of timber. Backed by never-before-seen cutting-edge technology, this groundbreaking project is literally taking timber to new heights, and it's far easier, cheaper, and visually appealing than we'd ever expect. What will it look like? And what happens if history repeats itself with fire rages through the area? Let's find out. Okay, so Finland's building an entire city made out of wood. It's not something you hear every day. And to be honest, most people would say it's an outdated building material, especially with the rise of techniques such as carbon fiber and 3D printing. But when you understand the wider landscape of Finland and its architectural history, it all starts to make a little more sense. Finnish architecture has focused on wooden construction for centuries. That famous iron oxide-based paint gained traction in the 16th century, and now those iconic red wooden houses are regularly featured in all kinds of tourism magazines. Almost three quarters of the ground in Finland is covered by forest. That equates to a massive abundance of timber. There's no need for international importing, and the construction can be handled by local companies as opposed to larger European steel or concrete producers, therefore fanning the flame of the country's economy. You only need to head to the southern coast, about an hour west of Helsinki, to check out one of the most attractive and yes, completely wooden seaside resorts in Finland, Lovisa. Plenty more dot the nation, however. Either because of replacement, fire, or war, the long list of traditional Finnish towns has been dramatically reduced. As we turn our attention specifically to Helsinki, the city already boasts a number of easily accessible wooden districts. Wooden Kapala, Wooden Valila, and Wooden Kumpala, just to name a few. They're all within walking distance from one another and just a stone's throw from the city center. Even though the nation is rich in timber, there still needs to be good reason behind its use. And there is. Wood has a number of benefits. It can be used as a primary material, your traditional log cabin being the perfect example. Or it can be combined with other materials for a decorative touch. Compared to stone and concrete, it's considerably light, which makes transport and installation easier. And assuming it's been conditioned to remove moisture and be protected from the elements, it can be a strong base layer for any house, or if you're thinking bigger, any large complex. That's exactly what the minds at Innovative Construction House SRV have blueprinted for this fascinating Helsinki project, appropriately named Wood City. Since wood is also simple to manipulate and cut, the entire process is relatively quick. That being said, the disadvantages need to be considered as well. It eventually decays, and it's vulnerable to moisture damage and fire, not to mention termites. Fortunately, after dealing with wood construction for centuries, the Finnish are experts in ensuring that their materials last as long as humanly possible. There's a strong proof of concept for long-lasting wooden buildings too. The oldest wood building in existence, the Horyuji Temple in Japan, dates all the way to the 8th century. Architects and builders also understand that wood can bring an economical advantage. Construction costs for a metal frame, for example, are significantly higher compared to that of a timber frame. In addition to needing a range of specialized tools, metal frames come at markup of between 10 and 20 percent. To some people, this project may seem a little optimistic. That won't be finished for a few years. But that's far from the case. In reality, construction is already underway, and some elements aren't just underway, some are completely finished. Wood City's first structures are not only already fully built, but people are already living in them. That's these buildings, the twin apartment complexes created for the Helsinki Housing Production Department. They're set to house a whopping 17,000 residents in total. The next building on the agenda is a new office block that will welcome the headquarters of a gaming company called Supercell. But it doesn't stop there. The long-term plan also features a hotel. The entire project is located here, in a new seaside development of Helsinki called Jatkasari. Each of these main buildings will rise to a height of eight stories, around 85 feet, which, given the rather low Helsinki skyline, will make them visible from multiple points throughout the city. As you can see, the frames of the new buildings will be made from solid wood, mainly laminated veneer lumber, or LVL for short. You'll only find a small amount of concrete, which will be used for the two cores of the office building, and for the first floors of the apartment towers. 
Complementing the wooden facades, SRV is creating a green communal courtyard to add another touch of vibrancy to an already beautiful city. Of course, just because the company is building an environmentally friendly urban quarter, that doesn't mean that Wood City is a cheap build by any means, because trust us, it's not. Once the rest of the complex is finished, the cost will have surpassed 100 million euros, over 115 million US dollars. So how does a company actually go about designing an entire wooden city block? The answer lies with a single complex software known as Solibri, a platform built by a local Helsinki-based software firm. The 3D mapping and construction planning program allows the design team to build virtual models of their project. What does that mean exactly? It means that Wood City's designers were able to identify and fix any errors before the physical cutting of the timber began. The software has two distinct and important features. One, Solibri Office, and two, Solibri Anywhere. The former offers the designers the ability to compare their models and interact with the factory and its machines, while the latter allows anyone working on the project to access the data they needed right away. While Wood City has plenty of admirers and accolades, let's play devil's advocate here for a second. Timber might be cheaper to source initially, but how does it stack up in terms of maintenance costs? Historically, steel frameworks witness fewer cracks and therefore need fewer repairs. If Wood City sustains a number of cracks or starts to rot, then the total bill could skyrocket by millions more. However, SRV is still confident of their approach. And steel also isn't shy of its own issues, including rust. A damaged wood bar is said to be easier to replace than that of its steel or concrete counterparts, so any fixes would be swift. Unfortunately, another threat, one that's all too familiar with the Finnish residents, is fire. Major blazes have torn through large areas of the city around once every 100 years or so, all the way back to the 5th century. Alas, SRV again has an answer. Fire retardant coatings are used throughout Wood City, in addition to the fact that the special LVL, the type of wood in question, offers much higher fire resistance compared to other timbers. Damage from the elements is one thing, but what if there's a human error? What if the pieces brought over to build the site aren't the right shape? Don't worry, this too has a solution. Using detailed algorithms in the advanced Solibri software, the layout of the entire complex was coded to create digital diagrams. What that means is that the machines cutting the wood are doing so precisely to the digital dimensions. It appears as though all the precautions have been taken and all the risks accounted for. So there's just one question left. Can we visit? Absolutely we can. While some people have been fortunate enough to visit the splendid city of Helsinki already, for most of us, it's still firmly on the bucket list. Why not delay the visit until Wood City is fully operational and ready to welcome visitors? In normal times, return flights to Finland can usually be found for less than $1,000 from the US. Keep in mind that the country, and Scandinavia in general for that matter, is considered a relatively expensive tourist destination. Just to give you an idea, a three-course meal for two people at a mid-range restaurant is estimated to cost around 66 euros, or 77 bucks American. While you're there, and once you've snapped a couple pics of the wood city, if your fix of timber hasn't quite been tamed, there are a few other notable attractions ready to be checked out. Helsinki Central Library, which regularly finds itself on postcards is one, and the Lighthouse Jonsu, which sports a unique neon-lit exterior is another. Do you think that this project is a good idea, or is it all too risky? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the richest, and have a great day! Catch you next time!